Okay, if you're following along in our tutorial, we're about to start step four. This is all tied together at the website neurorad.link slash skull redirects you to this site. You can get all the files at neurorad.link slash skull files. So we're going to be doing step four, which is cutting our skull model that we've created. So you can see here I have all the different files and folders downloaded for this tutorial. I'm going to go into step four, cut skull. You can see there's two files here, to do cut skull. So if you want to follow along and do it yourself, open up this file by double clicking or importing it into Mesh Mixer if you have a Mac. I'm actually going to make this file, so I'm going to click the completed skull cut file and open it up in Mesh Mixer here. Maximize Mesh Mixer. And what I usually do is when I get into Mesh Mixer, I show the object browser. Um, I wish I could have it on by default. It, it's very useful to have on. <clears throat> but you can see right now, uh, this is just a file where we have imported the skull underscore optimized STL file into Mesh Mixer and we're ready to cut it down the middle. Now, a lot of the skull models that you see, it's kind of cut uh, along the plane of the plane of sphenoid alley. Uh, so we're gonna kind of try to mimic that. So the first thing that's helpful is to make the skull transparent. And the way you do that is with shaders. So if you click on the shaders button, you can see you have a lot of different options here. We could make it gold, uh, we could make it pink, I'm going to grab this transparent looking ball and make the skull transparent. Okay, That'll be easier to work with at this point. And the next step is to start cutting it. So we're going to go to Edit, Plane Cut. And you can see here, it's actually um, left to right, it's aligned pretty well. But we want to line it up with this trajectory. So you can see here that I can move the plane up and down by dragging the arrows that point in a certain direction. So I'm going to take this green arrow, which is going to move in both the, so red, green, blue, X, Y, Z. So it's going to move in the X and Z planes, red and blue planes. All right, so that's about lined up. So let's take a look at our options with plane cut. Now something that's helpful with Mesh Mixer is that it's very well documented. You can pretty much just type into Google the name of the tool in Mesh Mixer and it's going to take you to the relevant Mesh Mixer manual page. So this is the page that describes all the options for plane cut. You can see there's two main options, the cut type and the fill type. So if you look here, the cut discard half is going to get rid of half your model. The slice keep both. The mesh is cut in the exact same way, but both sides are kept. That's what we want. We don't want to get rid of any part of our model. So our cut type is going to be slice keep both. And then if we look at the different fill types, you can see there's minimal fill, remeshed fill, and fixed fill. Minimal fill is going to give you the least possible number of triangles. It's not exactly what we want. Remeshed fill is going to give you a pretty clean, uh, you know, good resolution fill of that hole you're going to make when you cut the skull. And then fixed fill, the main advantage is that it's faster than remeshed fill. Well, we're not in a hurry, so we can just use the good one. Okay, so let's do slice keep both and remeshed fill. We have our plane lined up nicely. And so we click accept. Now if you're like me, you clicked accept, you still see one object, and you go, what happened? And this is a little bit counterintuitive, but uh, they actually tell us in their tutorial, when you accept the object in, accept the operation in slice mode, you still have a single mesh object. We do not automatically split them. You must do this yourself, for example, using separate shells. So we need to do that also. So go to edit, separate shells, and there we go. Now we have two different models. Now you might kind of wonder, well, which model's which? So you can hide one, and that'll kind of make it clear. So the one we hid is the skull base. So I'm going to double click on that and rename that to skull base. 
and the one we're seeing is the skull cap. And I'm gonna bring both of them up again. And there we go. There's our cut skull. And you can see that the cut surface now has been filled in, so you don't have a hole along the plane where you cut it.